Hi everyone, this is final part about buggy construction. I'll bring buggy into a stock condition. First I'll analyze and tell the cost of each detail and will sum up the spending I generally wasted for the construction of this car. I'll also tell about buggy size, why I chose that kind of size and what height it is suitable for. I began my dismantling from the decorative strap, which acted like a top support of the front struts in the game. It's made of 2mm sheet of metal which I've already had so I didn't spend money for it. Then there goes the front struts. The springs in them cost $16.43 and shock absorbers $8.96 for each one. Everything was bought in a shop. Bowls for the racks were made of 100mm pipe. I bought a piece for one $49. The cowl was made of a cold rolled sheet 1mm thick. The sheet was bought for $26.89, it was chock-a-block for the project, also I welded a bottom from it. I spent 300g of putty and soil for the cowl, altogether it cost $7.47. Brake fluid tanks, hoses, two new clutches and brake cylinders were bought for $29.88. Tie rod ends were bought for $2.99 and two steering wires for $7.47 for each one. The steering column and the steering rack from the dismantling market were $7.47 for each one. The front wheels were bought in assembly for $14.94. The front steering knuckles in assembly with a support from the dismantling market cost $29.88. Ball casters in a set cost $11.95. I used screw silent blocks for the top lever. They were sold only in a set for $29.88. Other silent blocks were used from another model. For a whole suspension we needed 14 pieces altogether, the sum was $32.86. The wheel I bought firsthand for $13.44. I got two chairs from karting for $44.81. The motorbike muffler for $22.41 was remade into the direct flow. To continue dismantling of buggy, I put a frame on the racks which I've made in the first series. The transmission was bought privately for $22.41. I bought the drives in addition for $22.41, a flywheel, a clutch assembly, and a clutch disc I got for $52.28. The case bearing was installed on the adapter plate for $17.93. The engine was bought anew for $224.07 with 17 horsepowers. The electric equipment with the starter were bought separately for $44.81. I took new discs for the back wheels for $44.81, tires for $7.47 for each one. Back knuckles together with supports I got for $22, $41 per piece from the dismantling market. The back racks were made from new gas shock absorbers and new back springs. Everything cost $47, $8. The knuckle fastens on the axis through the silent blocks. It cost $14, $94. I bought the main brake tubes for $14, $94. There were used as classical ones and also from the front wheel drive. I got wires for one, $49. The electronic tachometer cost me $14, $94. The digital indicator cost seven, $47. The 6th pulse speedometer together with the velocity sensor, which is situated on the gearbox cost me $44.81. The toggle switch for the headlights cost $1.49. The coolies together with a plastic slip cost $22.41. After the partial dismantling I treated welding seams with a grinding wheel. I decided not to disassemble buggy completely, I left cylinders and supports on their places as I had no wish to reload all the system again. By the way, the rubber brake hoses took another $14.94. The frame was welded from a pipe with a diameter of 32 mm with a wall of 2, 8 mm. All frame took 40 meters of pipe, it is $67.22. For the levers I took a pipe with a diameter of 26 mm, 12 meters long for $17.93. I also took a strip 5 mm thick and 40 mm wide for the silent blocks for $8.96 for 6 meters. I chose a paint 3-in-1 soil enamel for the rust, it's free of claims, everything holds perfectly and does not rust. The project required two cans for $2.99 per piece plus the solvent and the degreaser for $2.99. At first I wanted to paint with a brush but nevertheless decided to use an airbrush. I covered the frame in several layers with the intermediate drying. To reach the bottom I lifted buggy with the winch, also cleaned with a brush and painted over.
then left it to dry during the night, after that lowered the frame, and went to paint other details. I painted them on a crossbeam with group at once, after the paint has dried out of ink, I removed them and hanged out another batch. I painted the casing from the inside with the same paint. I sanded the springs and painted with red paint from a spray can, the same paint I used for the supports, the can cost me two, $24. I painted the wheel discs in gray color, I needed one can for two, $39. After all details have dried I began to assemble buggy. At first I assembled the rear suspension, then the front one. During creation of Buggy, I kept to the only book called the Sports Car Kit Car Suspension Brakes High Performance Manual by Des Hamill. I put the engine on its place together with a clutch assembly. I hid all conducting in a plastic corrugation. Back stoplight cost me $6.87. Front headlights cost $17.93. After installation of the front casing I went for the paint and took one for three, seventy-three dollars for a can of two colors cadmium yellow and ordinary yellow. I imagine how the colors would look on the case. I liked a plain yellow color cause it better fitted the game model and just looked more pleasant. I painted buggy, put on the trailer, and went outside. The shooting was constantly postponed because of the heavy snowfalls and in the first more or less snowless day I went out shooting. Generally the cost of all components of this buggy turned out $11.95, $04, except the metal I wasted on covering and some electronic components as I had at the first test drive, it is possible to make such car for $746.9. Such buggy will be suitable for the driver of 165 cm in height. I myself sit in it end to end to the ceiling as my height is 183 cm. I was limited by the trailer sizes and this size of buggy was made under the trailer 160 cm wide, all other proportions were maintained according to it. You can find the frame sizes in the description. If you are longer than 165 cm then you should increase the frame sizes on 15 to 20 percent. Buggy easily endures two people, but even winter tires key the road almost minimal. There are needed chains and blocking of differential. At the beginning I said for a reason that this is a final series, but not the last one as I still have plans for buggy. Further there will be some tuning, installation of more powerful engine from the car, installation of an electric motor. Perhaps there will be a hybrid power plant, which will make from the rear wheel buggy an all wheel drive one, and there are much more ideas which will come on the course. Put your thumbs up if you are interested in this too so it will help me to understand whether I should move on with it or not. And here is Buggy from PUBG we happily managed to make. Many forces, nerves and time were spent on this project. In my opinion it turned out to be well done. Thanks for your support, comments, likes and reposts. Special thanks to the sponsors of this project, they were also duplicated on Buggy case. I'll also begin two new projects, I can only tell that they will also include four wheels. One of them will be dedicated to one famous game, another will be from the real life. All news and announcements about my projects you can find in my Instagram. Thanks again for your attention and support. We'll see already in new videos with new projects.